Oh, he's going to play right here. Come back. Yep. Count the steps. Right. You, no, wait, wait. Wow. You're counting the steps? He's counting the steps. He is. How do you know? Um, he's not exploding up the ball. Mm. I can feel him counting the steps because when I'm running with him, he's not being aggressive enough. He's not trying to run past me. So by you not trying to run past me, oh, I know it's, you're either doing a, a comeback or a hitch, or you come in, you're going to try to cut, undercut me and go back in. Xavier, this is about as good a shadow yeah. as you can get right here. I mean, you are completely in lockstep. When he breaks down, you're breaking down. I mean, it is a mirror of each other. And I'm really upset with myself because I slipped at the top of the round. Uh -huh. I'm, yeah, and that was an interception. Right there. Ah, I think you're I'm right, you're right, right there. there. Yeah, and then I you think lose it just for a second. Right just, yeah. Even though it's Deshaun, you still try to get a hand on him. Mm -hmm. Like you want to, you want to try to redirect it. Yeah. I know at that moment, his release told me the route. He went wide. His yeah, middle was taking him forward. You can't stop on a dime. You too, first, you're too fast. <laughs> so it's hard for a receiver or anybody to run full speed and be that fast to stop the momentum and drop their weight and come back down. It's really hard. So that's why I say he ain't counting step. You see the difference between the two is Mike Evans and come out. He ain't burst. He took us. He took a second. And he was like counting step where he just took off. Yeah. Head down. He yeah. just gone. So I'm like, oh yeah. First three yards for me determines the route. So I got you. Right, right there, just a brace. You're, you're on yes. his hip and he's mm -hmm. running with him. Yes. Yeah. He made it easy for him. Mm -hmm. You just gotta open up and go. Gotta open up yeah. and go. Yeah. And that's all I was saying. I cannot let him get on top of <laughs> This outside zone here, everybody runs this concept. Mm -hmm. and they're just trying to get some real estate here. Can you see the outside receiver right there? Yes. And you kind of know what's coming. I know it's coming. I know it's gonna be a go route. Use the sideline as a defender, as my help. That's your technique. Mm -hmm. This is a man turn right here. Mm -hmm. So are you now just looking at his eyes? Or when his hands go up, then you're looking to strip yes. here? Mm -hmm. My thing is once they look and they, it's, it's, it's a second, it's a moment type thing, you know the ball coming. You look at their eyes and then it, it, it happens so fast. You know, cause you know, football is, is, is all about timing. Mm -hmm. So once that time happened, his eyes get like, I think it's, it's, it's more than me, it's big, and I didn't get that big eyes. I know the ball is coming sometime soon. You actually can see the, yes. the eyes. Yes, like And that. then once, I, once that happened, that's when I look back for the ball. This play here, I knew he was going in mm -hmm. because the, the split. He was plus the three or four. Mm -hmm. If he do an outside route, I'm basically going to use the sideline. Mm -hmm. So I knew he was going in. Xavier, I, I love the fact that you spoke about splits. Because mm -hmm. splits are a tell mm -hmm. where they're lining up. Mm -hmm. I would imagine through your film study, a lot of times you just said, hey, you know the route that's coming because he lined up you know, wider in his norm than his normal split. Mm -hmm. So in your film preparation, your pregame preparation. Yes. Are you at this point on, hey, I kind of know what's coming. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Down the distance, you see the split. It took me a long time to pick that up. Um, my first, I think my first two years was pretty difficult after that. Mm -hmm. It just, it just starting to come to me. You starting to see it, the game starting to slow down for you. You got Mike Evans down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. You're a plane off. <laughs> That's one of the routes they knew that he was going to use his body against me. <laughs> Me being a vet at that moment, I should have known they were going to put me in a cut split and they were going to throw the glance route. That's what teams do to me now. They try to put me in a cut split and get me off press. So cut split is you're now inside, inside the numbers. numbers inside the inside numbers. Inside the numbers. Mm -hmm. OK. So I should have known it was going to be a glance route. And I should have like been more patient and broke on the route. But at that moment, I know they were trying to use him to try to block me away from the ball. You, do you know the route right now? from this slot right here? Yep. I knew it was going to be a slant because they have Alvin outside, and then they realized the uh, 
the linebacker was out, I said he knew his man, man coverage. They have Alvin out, and he's plus. Okay. So by doing that, I knew it was either going to be two routes. It was going to be the slant to get away from him, get away from my leverage, because you know I'm going to be outside leverage. Mm -hmm. Or it's going to be a seven. He's going to pump fake like he's going on a, a post and break it and undercut me. But this play right here, when you come underneath it right here, you feel like you can, with your long arms right there, yes. you get, you're going to get it like you do. Get it. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Dump over the middle, incomplete, knocked away at the 40. They focused on Michael Thomas, and X marked the spot on that play. Hey, what that technique down there? You pull, what you pull right here? Yeah. What that was? <laughs> boy, your ass got some technique, boy. You ain't show me that this summer. What you pull me right here? <laughs> hey, get your ass out of here. Xavier, you're pretty consistent when you're in this press position, kind of a hop step back. Are you taught that first step? Just yes. to just get a little cushion, get, get breathe the route. Get, get my feet moving. Yep. Get it hot. Get on the balls, get on the inside. Are you on the inside part of your feet right in? And then whatever foot you're going to jab with, you know, put, put a little bit more weight on your opposite. Which one are you jabbing with? Okay, put more weight on your le right foot, not as much on your left. See what I mean? Can you feel, you know, if I'm going to jab, if I'm going to jab with this foot, right, I want to have, I want to have more weight more weight uh, on this foot right here, right there, right? Okay. It's hard to have your feet in the ground and move laterally or do anything. So once I get my feet high and get it moving, I'm able to move laterally more fluently. ever use that jam? Get up there and just yeah. Oh yes, all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I know you like that. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And Xavier Rhodes, roads are closed, baby. Take us through it here. So I know he's a big physical guy. I know that's what he want to do. And my thing is, I want to get physical with him too. Max physicality. There's a, there's a, a one-handed jam. Mm -hmm. Quick jam. Yeah, quick jam. You got to change it up. Mm -hmm. Can't do the same thing over and over. Going against uh, Jordy Nelson when he was at the Green Bay, mm -hmm. it seemed like he knew everything I was doing. <laughs> like, he knew what hand I was shooting, when I was going to shoot it. Like, he knew everything. And he it, got a scout report on yeah, you, too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, just like you watch them, they watch mm -hmm. you. That's when I realized I have to change mm -hmm. my game. I can't give them the same thing. So, and that's, that's when the quick jam came about. Blanketed beautifully by Xavier Rhodes. AJ Green. Oh. What's the book on AJ? Man, yes, AJ. I didn't think he was that quick or that fast. Mm. To be that tall. Really? Was this your first yeah. time you played him? Uh, no, we, we, we had a joint practice. Mm. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I, I had remember a joint, that in Cincinnati. And had a joint practice. I'm like, oh, this is a big guy. This is normal big guy. He's, you know, tall. You're going to try to use his physicality or something against me? No. <laughs> Total opposite. Mm. Just run. He just run. He's pretty fast. We get in and out of his break, run great routes. Mm. I said, oh, okay, now I can't use my physicality. Now I got to use my technique with him. Sometimes I know when I go against a uh, prime example, I know when I go against Antonio Brown, I know when he's getting the ball. Mm. I'm about to score right here. I know when Julio Jones getting the ball. Julio Jones come out the huddle. Oh, he, he coming out. Oh, da, 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 da. oh, it's a run play. You know? <laughs> you mean body, body language, language? Body language gives you an indicator yeah, of run it's a pass. Run play. <laughs> he come out like somewhat fast. He probably the second or third read. So it's like, oh, he not too excited <laughs> about it. That's so when he shoot out. Yeah. He like, mm, start messing with his glove and stuff. Oh, he getting the ball. <laughs> so that's when I'm always trying to be ready now. <laughs> you have to know your opponent. I always tell my guy, know your opponent before you go in that game. What type of receiver is he? Is he a receiver that's going to use his size, his speed? What's his routes? His route's going to be over. His route's going to be comebacks, hitches. You have to know these guys' routes. You have to break them guys down just as much as they're breaking you down. Give us a top three toughest. Receivers. 
One, oh, Julio Jones. Julio. Julio? Yeah. Julio Jones, guy that can do it all. You have receivers that have certain routes. He don't have certain routes. You look at him, he runs every route in the tree. And also, they make new routes for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? A new tree. A new, yeah. new tree for Julio. <laughs> and also, you have Antonio Brown. Yeah. Same, same, same thing. They have their own route tree. Man, no, he look like you got that second foot down, bro. I got both of them. It ain't look like it. I tried it. It ain't like you tried like you. I just, Tony, you know, you know I'm Tony Totop. <laughs> you know I'm Totop. And man, like we said, Devontae Adams, this guy is unbelievable. And I told him after the game, I say, I done seen you from the first time you got here to now. Yeah. Tremendous change. Yeah. Sending you. You yeah. improve your game so much and I told him I'm proud of you bro. I love going against you. I know going in this game, I'm gonna have to get my stuff together. I know I'm gonna have to call my mom and my lady. <laughs> don't call my phone. I don't wanna talk to nobody. This is I'm I, I'm laser focused. I know I'm not trying to miss a second of anything. I wanna know if he put his right toe up, if he move his right foot, I wanna know if, I wanna know what route is that.